Woo! <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode four of our Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Uh, we are about to step out and have our second battle with Hop, or so it seems. Let's hope they don't pull a, a 180 on us, but uh, that's what they said was going to happen, so here we go. Hurry up, Asta. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. All right. Well, I want to get one, too. Come on. It's not just you. You ready? Going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need the endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. Let's go. We're already all healed up, apparently, according to, to Leon, so let's hope. I'm rather interested in seeing how the two of your young trainers battle, too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten here, where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. Let's go. It's time for my... Oh, it's him and his legend, man. He's never gonna let that go. Alright. Let's go, Hop. You... What, what even is that head? What is that hair? <laughs> like... Somebody explain to me what's going on with his hair. He's gonna send out his Wooloo. He's got three Pokemon now. Okay, so not too much harder than last time. We have Raven. Alright. Yeah, I am a bit stronger, buddy. Let's go. Alright, so... Let's see. Uh, so we're gonna go for a home claws. <laughs> I'm gonna set up in this thing's face. <laughs> Let's go. We'll lose extremely defensive, so. Let's see, tackle, yep. Makes sense. Four damage, not too much. We're gonna go for another home claws. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna have access to power trip as well. As, a, as an option to go for in case he sends out something that's weak to dark. Although I doubt it at this stage in the game because we haven't seen anything that's weak to dark. So I'll go for Peck now. This should do a lot. The, uh... Yep, that's death. Okay. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Wooloo. Next up, we have... I, I think I'm just gonna use Raven to, to knock everything out, honestly. Vix at level 6. Still no new move. Still stuck with Struggle Bug. Here comes Grookey. Grookey's level 8. Oh boy. Hop, you got a lot of work to do, buddy. Tasted it what? Green power just keeps growing stronger. Okay. I thought he was I thought he was about to, to Dynamax. Branch poke. Why is he faster than me? <laughs> uh <laughs> he's level eight. I'm not understanding this. We're gonna knock him out though. Well look at you, you see <laughs> uh, seems you okay, well, he's not even gonna give me a chance to read it. I didn't even click A guys. Alright. So, go to level eleven. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Alright. The mouth flaps. Alright, here's his rookity. It's level 5, guys. It's level 5. Let's go for Power Drip. This is stronger than Peck, so... At this point, because I think it's base 60 now, so... Anyway, we didn't need to overkill the damn rookity, but we will... We'll do it anyway! <laughs> get, a, get a little bit more EXP. Everybody's at a decent level. I'd like to get, uh... Vic up to, like, level 10. Everything up to, like, level 10, level 12 before I take on the... Well, I don't even know how close I am to the first gym, but... I'm assuming it's going to be way harder than just level 10, level 12. Because apparently the difficulty of this game is quite high. <laughs> Asta Hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little no cho choice but to give both you both an endorsement as champion. Really, your brother did nothing. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Jeez. Why does he get one? I destroyed him and obtained the letter of endorsement. All right, it's in my key items. There we go. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you've really grown up a, a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Asta. Alright, Asta. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Against one another? What do you mean? You, you suck. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. I hope I have like six rival battles, honestly. Huh? What's that? 
What, what was that? Okay. Ah. I see. That's a weird way of giving <laughs> us our stones. Or bracelets or whatever. Asta, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one for yourself. Oh, it's actually a wishing star? <laughs> I thought it'd be the Dynamax band or something. Maybe it's what the Dynamax band is made of. That looks like it's... Okay, I won't say it. All right, stone found in the Cala region with mysterious power. It said that your dreams come true once you find one. All right. One of these, my Pokemon, okay, yeah. My Pokemon from Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes. All right. Trust you, pull, trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have true wish in their heart, you know. I'll be the greatest trainer ever. And I will be the greatest trainer ever. Okay, now he's yelling. <laughs> yeah, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Sure, buddy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region, but they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you all sorted. Alright, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Asa and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First we got a battle against that mad Pokémon in the slumbering wield, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. Uh-huh. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Alright. Oh, Sonya out of nowhere. Hello. Seems I came back home right in, in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. <laughs> Why not have dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. <laughs> Freaking curry. Perfect for Vic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh. Alright. So we're all healed up. Not that I needed it. R Rookity could have just used Roost and I would have been fine. It's morning at last and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning, you two. Young challengers. To you, young challengers. Okay. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was weird heavy fog and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Asta tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. <laughs> wow, she is savage. Asta, hop, these are for you. Oh, here we go. Kaplooey. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. Nice. Wishing star has been affixed to it. Okay. All right, let's go. New gimmick. <laughs> Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them. I don't want to do the accent anymore this episode. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's like, it's just like the one Lee has on him too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon that will help fill out your Pokedex too. The Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. Okay, stop, dude. <laughs> Seriously. Come on, Esther, I'll beat you to the station. All right. Uh, hello? What is this? Why calm? Oh! I can do this now. Okay. Normally, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, awesome. Let's go. So we got that in the corner of the screen now. Now, which way do I go? One last thing before we race, Asta. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes see Pokemon wandering around in the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. Oh, so push left stick in, basically. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Proof trick? Press the left stick. Alright. 
try it out and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon and stuff. Do I have to do this right now? Okay, no, just in general. Remember Wedgehurst station, station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal. So see you there. Alright. I gotta race back. Let's go. Is there anything interesting in this grass other than what we've already seen? I don't think so. So I'm gonna head up. There's a bench over there. It's like the bench from Endgame. Right in front of a lake. Oh, Yamper? Wait. Oh, I can catch me a Yamper? Yo, I want to see this thing's stats and moves and everything. I'm definitely catching this. I might not use it in my final party, but I'm definitely putting it in here for now. Um, I want to see if it's part electric already. So we're going to go for Peck. Yeah, that's definitely part electric. Uh-oh. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Thank God that didn't say Volt Tackle. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to switch uh, into Simon just because I don't want to catch an electric move. That would suck. So here we go, Simon. I know we've only been using two mons thus far, guys, but oh yeah, there's the nuzzle, great, great, guaranteed paralysis. Good thing I have those paralyzed heals that I picked up in the first route. Let's go for Ember, he's definitely gonna be faster than me. What? What? Did he use like Roar or something? Nope, he's just extremely slow. Why? I don't know, but okay. Let's just keep going for Ember. No crit, perfect. Should be able to catch this thing, no problem. It's got a heart on its butt. <laughs> I never noticed that. All right, so let's throw a ball, see if we can catch this. Then we'll use a paralysis heal. Paralyze heal on our Simon. Yamper, dog. What am I calling it? Um. Hmm. Depends on if it's male or female, I guess. I think it was male, if I recall correctly. All right, we got two level ups there. Very nice. You're male, right? Wait, what? Did I just see both genders? Okay, no. Alright, here we go. Herb. <laughs> you are Herb. There we go. Still using the, uh, going with the UK theme, the Sidemen theme. Uh, ooh, I have the VS. Nice. Sick. Okay. So, let's check out, first of all, uh, what? No. Uh, restore. Use a paralyzed heal. Yep. Cool. And then herb. Let's see what you are. So, pure electric doesn't even have a, doesn't even have the normal typing on it. So that's cool. Uh, ball fetch. So if a Pokemon is not holding an item, it will fetch the Pokeball from the first failed throw of the battle. Okay. Cool. So save us some money, I guess. That's about all it's got going for it. Nuzzle, tackle, and tail whip is actually really good. Just having access to a move that always paralyzes like that is sick. And it's Rash Nature, which means it is uh, plus special attack. So it could be a mixed attacker, which is really good. So we definitely want this on the team. And uh, I think that Beat Up is going to start having a good amount of power. What is going on over there? On the left side of the screen. Caught myself a Yamper. No, I don't need to let people know that I caught a Yamper. I'm sure plenty of people have already caught Yampers. Oh, no. <laughs> I meant to avoid this thing. I just kept holding the stick. All right, well, we'll fight this Squobet. We'll head over to the station after. Let's see what's going on. I'm sure we can uh, start getting toward this, the uh, first gym. We'll knock this thing out. It's level 7. I like that the, uh, the levels progressively get higher as you have, like, more playtime, I guess. I don't know, or you've completed more checkpoints. So, let's go for another peck here. This really feels RPG-esque. Like, more than than anything else. Because it's got checkpoints and, and stuff. Like, the cutscenes are amazing. There we go. We knock out the skull vent. And now, starting right now, I'm going to leave Fergie out front. And try to use Beat Up to uh, get some knockouts. Here we go. So let's put Fergie up. Whoop. There we go. In the first position. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I saw you, buddy. I don't want to fight you. Let's keep going. No, Yamper. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to battle anything else right now. I don't want to battle wilds. I want to battle trainers. Because I haven't had too many of those. So. You, you have anything uh, good to tell me? Uh, I saw Hop sneak me off toward the station. Of course you did. 
That's where he's going. All right. Oh, I wanted to go to the Pokemon Center. Leave me alone. Come on, Asta. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. It's literally right there. <laughs> like, of course I'm not going to beat you. You're already like 10 meters ahead of me. All right. Let's go. Pokemon Center. All right. Is that somebody new? I don't recognize that guy. Alright, everybody's nice and healed. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk to you, bud. Alright, you got nothing to tell me. Cool. Alright, so, off to the station we go. Here's Hop. So out with it, Asta, how many did you catch? I caught a really special one, and you got yourself... Oh, just one? Looks like we're at a draw. Though we are rivals and all, so that's fair. I wasn't gonna catch more than that, bro. TM40 Swift. Okay, cool. So we got a nice normal move that doesn't miss. Sweet. Uh, I think it's only a little more powerful than Tackle. They might actually be the same. Alright, so let's go. We're off. Here we go. So we need to use the station to get anywhere. Oh, yo! I've been to London, guys, and this is pretty damn accurate. That's exactly what they look like. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, all right. Not quite so fast, you two. All right, what's up? What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Grookey as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see. You well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Oh god. Not the camping gear! <laughs> no! I don't want to go camping. Alright. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mum. And just think how lucky you are. Mother to, to have... What? To the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be champion next, you'll see. Alright, of course you will be, darling. <laughs> that sounds so sarcastic. <laughs> anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We're off. Alright. Cool. Let's go. I'm not doing any more reading this episode. Screw that. We're just gonna talk. We haven't talked in a while, guys. How's everybody doing? I'm probably premiering this, so I'm in chat with you. Most likely. This is uh, just episode four. Ooh, the foot tapping. Uh, Motostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. Uh, finally, the wild area. Pangoro, it's a real sight. There are all sorts of, okay. Plus you can camp out, do fishing spots. Da, 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 tired of it. Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. All right, so where are we gonna land? Motostoke. Is that where we are? Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? I said I wouldn't read anymore, but <laughs> it's just the dialogue's so good. Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of wulu on the tracks. Okay. <laughs> What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Really? This is the wild area, is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Asta? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. It's true. We can, uh, we can get some mad stuff out here, guys. So you know. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Oh, we need a loading screen. Of course we do, because this place is huge. Everywhere with the dark green border on the map. Yeah, that's the wild area. Oh my god. This looks sick. They should have made the uh, big castle in the back more opaque, in my opinion. Would have given a better effect. Hi there, would you like to rest here? Oh! Okay, cool. You have the soundtrack. Oh, sounds so good. So clean. Damn, that's Motostoke way off that way. Way off. Dude, that's like a three minute walk. At worst. <laughs> like, come on. In between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonya. Yo, what's up, girl? My nan gave me proper earful in her own way. 
Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about the Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even my nan... <laughs> I keep saying my nan <laughs> will admit I've got some talent. Alright, yikes. Being an adult has its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be f a great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'll have to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. Ooh. He already knows everything about everything. Like, he has so much knowledge on the, on the region. Pop is actually a pretty good guide. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page of my tale of my legend. This guy is a legend. He's a good rival. What cheek! Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurk lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat for me, from me. Pokemon Box Link. Okay. The device allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. Cool. Alright, so portable PC. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. Wild Area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Yeah, this is this is a great integration into the game, man. This is amazing. Bro, look at those beams of light. Oh, you can fish? I already have the fishing rods, and that's perfect. Bro. It's gonna be nutty. Here we go. Let's get in there. Rolling fields. <gasps> Vanillite. It's a Vanillite. Wait, what's this? A Swinub! <laughs> Let's go, Mammal Swine! <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to evolve it though, so I'm not gonna catch this thing. Um, as much as I love Mamoswine, it would take way too long. Oh my dear, that did nothing. This move is pretty weak. Oof, that's not good base power. Mudslap. Oh no, my my accuracy. No, crit too. All right. And I'm buffeted by hail. Alright, so we got weather conditions out here. Let's keep going for beat up. Okay, he's just gonna dodge. Alright, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Um, I'm not gonna mess with this thing anymore because it's just... It's annoying me at this point. We're gonna run. I'm gonna see what else is in here for a little bit and then I'll probably end the episode. Alright, so let's run around. Bro, this place is actually pretty damn big. No lie. Oh, I found a note that someone dropped in here. Is it right stick to rotate the ca- <gasps> Yo! Press the L button to look straight ahead again. Yo! <laughs> Yo, I can rotate the ca- Diggers me! Get in my party! Yo, what level is this thing gonna be? I'm scared. I'm actually terrified. What level is it? <gasps> 15? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Hold on. Let me go into my most defensive Pokemon. Um, this thing won't have huge power, I think, though. At least... I hope and I hope not at the same time. Just because, like... Jesus, they all have this move. It's a good thing I switched. Um... Yeah, uh, I hope and I hope not, because then it would be able to hit me pretty hard if it did. There's Flail, let's see how hard this hits. That's definitely huge power. That has to be huge power. There's no way, it's nowhere, nowhere near damaged enough for it to do that kind of damage. Whoa, okay. Let's keep pecking. Quick attack. Oh my! Guys. It's a good thing I decided not to Nuzlocke this game. Do you see how much that did? Oh boy, okay, hold on. And I thought I wouldn't need a lot of potions. Oh, buddy. Alright, let's potion it up. Yeah, this is definitely a huge power Diggersby. 
Uh, laser. Oh. Uh, I may have to sack something off here. <laughs> this is bad. This is very bad. Oh my. Okay. Uh. I'm sorry, Vic. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna have to die. Bro, and it's constant hail, too. Mudshot, I resist this, don't I? Uh. Okay, it was a crit. <laughs> I was like, I resist this, why did it do so much? He's in the yellow? Nope, not yet. Alright. Right, it was a crit because of uh, laser focus. That makes sense. Okay, we'll go back to Raven. He quick attacks, so long as he doesn't crit me, I should be fine. But damn, this thing is strong. <laughs> Mud shot. Alright, good. So that doesn't work. So now he's in the yellow. I'm going to attempt to catch him. I doubt it'll work, but let's try. It's only level 14, so it's not too bad. Plus, it's Bunnel B's catch rate, so. One, two, three. Oh, God, no. It's gonna hit me. Oh, no. There's the laser focus. I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. Like, legit, I would die from here, from a quick attack. I have to potion up. Uh, well, I can do this. Restore. Potion. Oh, boy. Hopefully he goes for, like, mud shots stupidly. But he won't. There's no way he's gonna do that. Yeah, there's the quick attack. Quick attack crit. Oh, my God! Stop! <laughs> Please, stop. I need the hail to wear him down. That's the only way I'm gonna catch him. I, can I don't even have a, a chance to attack. This is nuts! Dude! Please! Help! Why did I decide to take on a Digger's Beat? <laughs> the second I clicked it, I was like, oh no, what am I doing? Oh god, and apparently there's like Tyranitars and shit in here. Oh my god, it went for laser focus again. It really wants to crit me constantly. Alright, well we know it only did about uh, 22, so I should live even with hail damage. So let's try to catch this now. One, two. No, come on, stay in the ball. Oh my god. I forgot about flail. Oh no. My whole team's gonna get destroyed. Should I just run from this? Okay, well, we're gonna go to Vic. We're gonna try to catch it with a ball. Hope he goes for laser focus for no reason. Although this AI seems pretty smart. It knows when to use Flail, when to use Mudshot, when to use Quick Attack. All that stuff. Yep. Now it's just breaking free of the ball. This is very bad. This is very, very bad. And Simon's weak to this as well. This is just gonna keep getting worse and worse. Um, please? Please get in? Come on, buddy. No! I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, there's no way I wasn't dying there. Wow, this is nuts. Dude. And the last two Pokemon I have are weak to it. Why is it not getting in the ball? It's in the red. It's level 15. It's not even that big a deal. Come on, get in. Please, you're really good. I want you. No! I'm not gonna die to this, I don't think. Yeah, no. Oh my god, it's gonna die to the next hail hit. Why don't you wanna just stay in the ball? I got back one of my balls, okay. Cool. Alright, come on. Diggersby, you're an idiot. Why wouldn't you just wanna stay in the ball? I don't get it. I don't get it. You knocked out 80% of my team just to die to hail. Like, come on, man. Do I even get EXP from that? Just Simon. Because Simon's the only one alive. Well, that's unfortunate. Do I give it double kick? I guess having a fighting move would be good. Plus, I don't need growl. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, no. Double kick's a fighting move. It's going to be a fire and fighting type. No! Okay, where am I going here? Where is... Where, where can I go heal? Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. 
Oh, man. Well, that was pathetic. Uh, I don't know what I could have done differently, honestly. I just I just couldn't catch it. We'll just heal, and then um, I'll probably spend... You know what I'll do for the next episode? I'll, like, edit it into chunks. I'll, I'll go through the wild area for, like, an hour or two, and I'll edit it down to, like, just key moments and make that its own episode for you guys. So you don't have to constantly watch me walking around and whatnot. So it'll, it'll just be a, a really well-edited video, and that's that. So, yeah. Um, for now, we're going to end it here, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, of course, as usual, make sure to leave a like down below. If this is your first time on the channel or otherwise, um, then make sure to subscribe if you guys don't want to miss a single video. Uh, and uh, hit that notification bell as well. Also, leave me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking about the series thus far. And if you're excited to see what we have left to see in this wild area, because so far... It's already mad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Ciao.